Well, hello, class, and welcome back to a brand new school year. And welcome back to Youth Ministry Fusion 101, where we'll be teaching you all that you need to know to learn about youth ministry. So please make sure you have a pen or a number one, number two, number four, or number seven pencil. Please make sure that you have a notebook filled with paper where you will be taking lots of notes. And please also make sure that you have all the latest youth ministry ministry books so that you, yes you, commoner, can do youth ministry. Welcome to Youth Ministry. Wait a second. Youth ministry does not have to be that complicated, that stuffy, or that weird. Youth ministry, if you, if you sense in your heart that's what you want to do, well then this is where you want to be. And today, I'll be teaching you guys a little bit about some basics. Since it's kind of back to school time, uh, we want to make sure that everybody understands the basics of what it means to be involved in Fusion Student Ministry. So we put together just a few things, uh, a few lessons for you to know. And so whether you're a, uh, a, a current member of our staff, of our F Team Fusion, um, these may just be casual reminders to you, or uh, they just may be a refresher course. But if you're brand new to the ministry, um, take these to heart so you will know what it takes then to work with Fusion Youth Ministry. So think back. Think about when you were a teenager. Think about what captured your attention. Were you involved in a youth ministry? Were you uh, active? Was it fun? Was it boring? Was it sad? Was it crummy? Everybody has a different experience. My years in youth ministry happen to be pretty good, pretty fun, pretty productive. Not everybody's is like that. And so people get involved with youth ministry for different reasons. Uh, some want to come back in and, and help out with youth ministry because they, so much was given to them. Um, there are others who didn't have any youth ministry, but they really sense uh, something going on in their lives, and, and, and their lives didn't go so well at the beginning, and they want to say, look, maybe my experience or maybe the things that I've done that weren't so good will be a help to those kids that are in there now. And you want to give back. And so either way, whichever reason you're wanting to do it, I want to help you with a few ideas uh, a few uh, things you need to know about being involved in fusion student ministry. So take some time, contemplate a little bit, ask yourself, why do I want to be in this youth ministry? Why do I want to be a part of Team Fusion? Uh, why do I want uh, those things as a part of my life rather than being maybe in choir or maybe being a part of uh, uh, the men's ministry or some other ministry in the church? Why youth ministry? So take a moment, download the little form that I have down there, and you can take a look through and kind of get a peek at all the things we're going to talk about here in just a minute. But take a few seconds and just fill in that one blank that says, why do I want to be involved in youth ministry? And we'll come back in a few seconds. Hey, welcome back. And uh, we're going to go over a few expectations we have here at Fusion Youth Ministries. If you're joining us uh, somewhere else on the Internet uh, from somewhere else, you can use these uh, simple standards uh, for people that you have coming into your church to work with your youth ministry. But for us here, this is what we're going to use. Um, number one is this. We want you to love God and we want you to love students. Now, I know that sounds uh, almost too simplistic, but that's the number one thing. We want you to have a solid relationship with God and we want you to have a deep desire to love kids and to love kids where they're at and to love them in their imperfection and to love them in, in, uh, in that quirky, awkward place of their life. Um, and so if you will love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, you'll be able to love these kids the way they're supposed to be loved. And so that's what we ask of you is to love God, take care of your spiritual life, take care of that, have a commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, be a, a Christian following the Lord and all those things. And we want that as a part of your life because it's going to matter to the kids that you minister to. So if you'll just love God, you'll love kids. Pretty simple. Number two, we're just going to ask that you be a member of our church. Um, why wouldn't we allow people outside the church to just come in and do anything? Well, we live in a strange world, and there's some people who have different beliefs and different ideas and different thoughts. And we want you to be a member of our church uh, for those reasons, but we also want you to have a vision of the whole church, that the youth ministry is not the whole church, that youth ministry uh, is just a part of the church. And it's here to fulfill the vision of our pastor and what he has going forth, and of course, as he carries out the word and the will of God. And so we want that to be a part. So we want you to be a part of that. We, we don't want you to just be a, uh, a person who comes in and does youth ministry. We want you to come in and be an effective and a fruitful member of the body of Christ in this congregation and in this fellowship. So uh, we want you to come in. Their pastor has classes. 
every quarter where you can kind of get in, get to know him. They're called Covenant Partner Class, and you can get to know him and get to know the church and get to know a little bit about the vision of what we do here at Pleasant Grove Assembly. So go ahead and uh, check on that if you're not already a member. Uh, if you are, that's great, but if you're not, make sure you check out that class, okay? Um, the third thing you want to look at is this, is that, look, if you come into this youth ministry, um, you're going to serve. You're going to find your place very quickly. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of bench warmers here uh, who have the luxury of sitting around and just kind of, uh, you know, hanging out in the organized chaos. When you come in, we're going to invite you to uh, find different roles and responsibilities. We're going to give you different tasks. We're going to give you, uh, throw different things at you, and you're going to find out uh, quickly what you're good at maybe, what you're not good at. If you already know what you're good at, then we've probably already talked. If you're not sure, uh, I'm going to throw a few things your way and see what it's like for you and see if you can uh, work with that. And if not, then we'll find something else for you to do. It's okay. It's experimental here at Fusion. So uh, come on in, find a place to serve. There's lots of areas you can work with. If you don't know an area to work with, just talk to me about it and we can help you do that. Um, the fourth thing we ask of you is this, to be on time. It's just a simple thing. Be on time. If we start at 6.30, it'd be great even if you were here a little early. Because if you're here early, um, you can kind of hang out with the kids before they, uh, before they uh, get busy doing some other things. And, of course, uh, you can hang out after them or with them a little bit later after service. But if you're here early, you can kind of touch base with people and uh, see what's going on in the lives of kids. So we just ask you to be on time. We start at 6.30. If you could be here 6.15, 6.20, that's even better because that gives you another opportunity to talk with the kids that come to our ministry. Um, the fifth thing we want you to do, and that's part of that coming early part, is, is building relationships with kids. And what does that involve? Well, obviously, things like getting to know their name, getting to know their hobbies, getting to know who they are as a person, um, getting to know them just on a, on a different level uh, where you can be able to speak into their lives or talk to them or share with them or just be their friend. Um, most kids come here, they just want a, a, you know, a friend, somebody they can talk to. And so we want to encourage you to come in sit down with them, hang out for a minute or two with them, and just kind of walk around. And as you get to know kids, um, you'll be able to build friendships with them, and you'll be able to minister to the life, and it'll be, uh, it'll be a blessing to you, and it'll be a blessing to them. So um, go ahead and build relationships, and we'll teach you as a youth ministry how to do those things. Um, stay in communication. I send out a weekly uh, email to all our Team Fusion. Um, I have everybody's phone number. I send texts. I do things like that. I love to communicate. Um, my, my staff may say that I like to over-communicate, but I'd rather over-communicate than under-communicate. So uh, if you're not going to be here in service, or you're going to be running late, all I ask you to do is shoot me a text or shoot me an email uh, telling me what's going on, if you're going to be out of town, all those kind of things. That's so important because the task and the responsibility is going back to serving. But if you have a task or a responsibility, it's so important that we have time to either change up the program to, to you know, for the fact that you may not be here, or to find a um, replacement or a substitute for that night to help you. Now, that goes for whether it's Sunday school, whether it's Wednesday night, whether it's a trip, whatever that is. Um, if you'll just stay in communication and let me know uh, what's going on in your world, I can let you know what's going on in our world, and then we can team up and kind of do it together. Um, and the final thing is this. If, you, we, if you'll uh, come to our once-a-month Team Fusion meetings, and those are a lot of fun. We usually go out to eat or we hang out at my house or somebody else's house, and we ask you to be involved in those meetings. Why? Because um, if you're a part of the team, it's important that you get to know the other members of the team, they get to know you, and uh, it's a critical part of our planning and our strategy time, so we want you to be a part of those things because we believe in creating fellowship and also uh, an opportunity to pour into you guys from my heart to your heart, um, and for you to be able to talk about things with me maybe on a level that um, that you need to in that type of group setting or where we can share what we know about kids and where all the kids are at. I'm not talking about gossip. I'm talking about the ability to be able to minister to kids because we don't know kind of where they're at. But you might have a perspective and I might have a perspective and we can put all those perspectives in a room. But it's also a good time of planning and fun and all that and eating and all that kind of good stuff. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, if you're a current Team Fusion member, thank you for watching it. Thank you for remembering the things that I've shared. Uh, thank you for your part in this already. You're already making it happen. And, uh, you're a great asset to this ministry. If you're brand new and watching it, thank you. Thank you for tuning in and watching it and uh, getting kind of the, the ground level of where we're at. And so uh, thank you for watching this back to school edition. And uh, this episode has been brought to you by um, the color blue. Uh, the letter 8 and um, the letter Y 
And so thank you for tuning in today, and thank you for being a part of Fusion Youth Ministry. We look forward to your involvement this full year.